Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. So in this session, I shall be explaining you a solution to solve the critical section problem, another solution to solve the critical section problem. And this solution is uh, called as using the flag variable. So it makes use of a Boolean array and the name of the array is flag here. So before you start watching this session, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. So this solution, once again, it is only for two process. So in the features I have written, it is a two process solution. It is a busy waiting solution and it is a software mechanism. And if you uh, just try to go through my previous session also, wherein I have explained a solution using the turn variable. So in that particular solution, what was the conclusion? It is suffering from a problem called as strict alternation. So we have to see here in this solution whether this problem strict alternation can be avoided and the very first condition mutual exclusion will it satisfy what about progress what about uh, bounded weight all these things you are going to look into this so this solution makes use of what a boolean array flag which is having what only two slots so let me start writing from here so that i can show you the two slots are there flag 0 and 1 so this slots two are meant for two processes p0 and p1 so initially the flag values will be that is for this particular variable the values for both of these processes will be false f indicates false false now before i start explaining you i'll tell you the meaning of t and f which is used here in the pseudocode normally if a process is interested to enter into the critical section it will set its value to t okay it will set its value to t initially the value will be f when a process wants to enter into the critical section it will set the value to t at the time of leaving, it will set the it will set back that value to f. So this is what t and f in the pseudocode indicates. So initially, now no process is there in the critical section. Okay, hope you people are understanding. No process is there in the critical section. It is vacant. Now p naught wants to enter into the critical section. P naught will first write. So here also you can divide the lines of code into three. So these two lines flag and while becomes in the entry section code and this is the critical section and finally you have what the uh, flag of zero yeah equal to f which is the exit part. So entry exit any type of solution the code in that you have to uh, divide into three uh, sections entry section critical section and exit section. So in the entry section, these things are happening, then comes the critical and then finally the exit. Now if process P0 wants to enter into critical section, process P0 will flag off 0 to 2, process P0 will set its flag to T. Initially it was F, so it has set its flag to T. T indicates that process P0 is saying I am interested to enter into the critical section. Then it will check what, whether the flag value that is whether the other process is also inside the critical section or not because it will come to know with this while uh, whatever you have specified in the while loop while flag of one is true or not flag of one is false here flag of one is false p1 has not made an attempt to enter into the critical section so its value is f only so flag of one is true or what no it is false if it is false then what will happen easily the process P0 can enter into the critical section. So this is what I wanted to tell you. Once you uh, make the process enter into the critical section here, you make a context switch and first see and try to see whether P1 can enter into critical section or not. So context switch has occurred here. The control goes to process P1 that is P1 has taken the charge. P1 will set its flag to T. Okay, P1 will set and already P0 had set no initially. Yeah, before this, so P0 and P1 both are TT T here. Now P1 will execute this line while flag of 0, that is whether the flag of the process P0 is T, true or false. Yes, in this case it is T only. So the condition becomes true here. If the condition becomes true, P0, P1 cannot enter into critical section. So this is what we wanted to see. Mutual exclusion should get satisfied by a solution. Here we are clearly in seeing that yes, when P0 is in the critical section, P1 is unable to carry out, we are unable to enter into critical section. Also, you can do with the other way around also. You try to execute P1 first, make a context switch at the critical section for P1, try doing for P0. If P0 is not entering, definitely P0 will not be able to enter into the critical section. 
So in either way you can do start with either P0 or P1, doesn't matter. Your main aim is to see here, yes, when, it, when one particular process is in the critical section, the other one should not enter into the critical section. So here you can see here, uh, when P0 was there, P1 made an attempt to enter, but it got struck here, it is inside the while loop only. It is waiting, that's why we call it as a busy waiting solution. So once this process, one, once again, uh, now here it gets stuck here inside the while loop then the control goes back to p0 p0 will complete its remaining part of the code it will set it it will come out from the execution and it will set its flag to f once f is there then p0 p1 can continue because once the value for this particular flag becomes uh, for this uh, slot becomes f p1 condition becomes false and it can enter into the critical section the while loop condition for p1 becomes false and it will enter into the critical section and then at the time of leaving it will set its flag to f so this is what we can say yes it is satisfying the mutual exclusion then we'll see whether this process is still suffering from strict alternation this process is also uh, suffering from the problem called as strict alternation or not how to check this what you have to do is make the process p not first enter into the critical section at that point, when P0 is there in the critical section, try making P1 also to enter into the critical section. Got it? Then, when P1 has made an attempt, once again P0 will come back. P0 will set its value, uh, the flag value to F and P0 will once again try to enter into the critical section. So, this thing you need to check here. Let us see whether it will. So, initial values, I will just write down for both the processes. It is F, F. Okay, and the array name is flag. Now P0 will check. Okay, P0 will set the value for T. While flag of one, whether the flag of the other process is true. No, it is not true. It is false here. The condition becomes false and P0 can enter into the critical section. P0 is entering into the critical. Make a context switch here. Try making P1 to enter into the critical section. P1, before entering into the critical section, it will set its value to T and it will try executing this while loop whether the flag of the other process is true or false yes it is true here it is yes it is true already it is set if it is true the condition is it is t here the condition becomes true it cannot enter into the critical section so here only it is inside the loop and it is busy waiting now what let us say once it is busy waiting the process is what once again context switch the process p0 will resume Process P0 will come out from the critical section and at the time of leaving in the exit part of its code, it has to what change this flag value to F. So it has made the flag value to F. Now look here, process P1 value is T. Process P0 has completed. It has set its value to F. Now we will see one more thing. Once it is F here, now P0 wants to enter it again. P0 has come out but P0 wants to enter it again. When P0 wants to enter it again, it will run these lines of code. It will set its value to T while flag of 1. That is, while flag of the other process is T or F. It is T. If it is T, then the condition is true for this while loop. If it is true, then it cannot enter into the critical section. So, what is the conclusion here? You cannot make one process to enter into the critical section immediately again when another process has made an attempt to enter into the critical section. If this process P1 has not made an attempt, no problem, P0 can enter, come out, enter, come out any number of times. But when it is in critical section or when it, is, it wants to, uh, when, when it was uh, trying to enter into critical section or when it was executing its lines of code, P1 has made an attempt to enter into the critical section. Then, P0, if it wants to enter again, it is not possible. It is not at all possible. So, strict alternation problem is solved in this. But what we have to see is, progress is what? Progress is the other process should not block, a process should not block other process to enter into the critical So, the second situation, the progress, now we need to check here. So, to, to check this condition, let us once again start, okay, from the beginning, set the values for both these processes to F, F, the flag value, okay. Process P0 wants to enter into the critical section, it will set the value of F to T. Fine, now it has to execute what this while loop. But I will do a context switch here. 
So we know that context switch can happen at any point of time in the program. So let us make the context switch here. Now once the context switch is done here, the control will go over to process P1. P1 will start executing its code. The first line in the entry section is it will set its value to T. Then it will try what type uh, doing this program while flag of zero. While what about the flag of the other process? Is it true or false? No, it is true here. It is T here, isn't it? What it is trying to check is whether it is F or T. It is T. Definitely this process P1 cannot enter into the critical section. It will be inside the loop. It will get inside the loop. Once it is inside the loop, that time you make a contact switch and the process P0 will assume, resume its job here. So it will try to execute the next line of code which is what? Whether the flag of the other process is T. Yes, the flag of the other process is T. Now you see this. What has happened is P0 has started executing. You made a context switch here. You gave the chance P1 to enter into the critical section. P1, uh, well, it was uh, once it tried doing this while loop, context switching happened. So P0 resumes. When P0 started again, it has to execute this while loop statement. When it executed, what is that it found? It, it has found the what? The value is T for the other process. So P0 cannot enter into the critical section. Now what is the conclusion? P1 is struck here. P0 is struck here. Neither of the processes are able to enter into the critical section. So we say this situation is what? A deadlock situation. And moreover, we say there is no progress here. One process is blocking the other process. The other process is blocking the first process. So there is no progress happening here. So that's why the second condition is not satisfied by this solution mutual exclusion is satisfied okay progress is not satisfied but one part of uh, uh, this one what we wanted to say is at least a process should not be allowed immediately to enter into critical section and another process has made that is strict alternate strict alternation problem is solved here in this particular solution. So this is all about what the solution using the Boolean array called flag. So hope this session is useful to you all. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care.